all right quick video well maybe not so quick we'll see how it goes um might take a wee while we've got a bit to go through uh may even break it into two videos we'll just see so this video here is going to be explaining how to de-google a phone without having to change your operating system all right um a lot of you be a bit um if you're about doing a custom rom some phones don't even have the option to have a custom rom uh, and if you've got a real old phone so this one here is the Pixie 4, uh, Alcatel, uh, I think it was the, yeah, Alcatel Pixie 4. So these here, I don't know, what are they, 8, 12 years old, something like that. I mean, the, the, you know, they're pretty old now. Of course, you'll see on my other videos I've showed you how to do speed ups. So that was great, this phone was going great. Um, better than what it was when I actually bought it after I'd done all the speed ups that I've shown you. Uh, it's been in storage for a while. Battery, not even a buggered battery anymore. Of course, this one was thrown away. Well, upgraded because battery problems. Um, and also, you know, too slow to use it. So I got it all going well. But now we're going to actually show you how to get rid of Google altogether. Um, so this is, you know, because uh, you go into your Google, to into apps, and you can't actually uninstall them. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways. Uh, well, there's actually three ways. Well, there's actually four ways we can do it. Um, so I'll show you three ways of doing it. Uh, so the first way, of course, I've already shown you in a different video how you can just go and deactivate them all. Uh, but I'm going to show you a different one. Yes, I know you can see the password. Don't worry me. Try and hack it if you want. Um, right. So you see here, nice fresh looking browser. Oh, and now we've got this fresh looking browser. Of course, we've you know put on a different uh, wallpaper, um, and we're also using a different launcher. I'll show you my top favourite uh, launchers uh, that I use. Um, you'll see there there was G Apps. Um, so that is because of course we're going to take out. Well, for this first video I'm actually just going to show you how to deactivate everything Google without taking it out of your phone. So that way, if you ever did uh, do a full reset. Maybe you're wanting to sell a phone, you know, it's a later model one than this. Uh, you're wanting Google out of it just for your use. Later on when you want to sell it, you want all that to be able to go back in. So the first part of this video is going to be showing you how to deactivate all of Google everything. Um, but still in the phone so that way it can be, you know, reactivated again. Uh, then the, and then I'm going to show you in the same, this same video how to um, actually get rid of them completely. Uh... And we'll also go, there's two ways of doing that. We can do it with a special file explorer that has root access. Uh, we can also use a program connected to the PC. So let's say you don't have a PC, you've only got your phone, so this is how we're going to do it, right? So first thing we want to do, of course, is uh, go in and get yourself this app here, F-Droid. Uh, now there's, you know, if you look online, do not do it through Play Store. Um, if there is even an f in Play Store, if there is, it's probably not going to activate unless carry, Google Carrier Services or um, Google Play Services are activated. So make sure you get an f straight off the internet, use your internet browser. Um, you know, a lot of the phones, they came with a standard internet browser that had nothing to do with Google. Um, where are we? Webs. So we're going to here, da, 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 AB, oh there. So of course you remember this old HTML viewer. Um, so of course this one here normally doesn't have anything to do with Google. should still work even with all the Google applications disabled. If it doesn't, that's fine. I've got another option for you. Um, so once you do, you know, whatever browser you're using, um, get F-Droid installed. You'll see here this, I've got four different type F-Droids here. Okay, these are all different versions, and it's because, like this one, this version here, can't remember the version it was now, um, is the only one that'll work on this old Alcatel um, Pixie 4. Um, this one over here uh, is for the Smart N12 I use it on. So, you know, you've got different ones. So you may have to try a few different ones to see which one actually works on your phone. Um, and make sure you give it the permissions that it needs, because F-Droid, it's an app store we're going to be using. Um, you know, you could end up using it quite a lot. Alright, so we're going to go out of here. So your first thing we're going to do, F-Droid. 
install that. Now the apps that you want to do, of course, the, this is my pick, you don't have to do it, but this is how we're going to de-Google the, de-Google everything. Of course, first thing you want to do is get hail, okay? Now this one's just going to be one that's going to be able to deactivate all your Google stuff. Uh, I'll go in here, I'll show you. Um, all right, you'll see there, showing all the apps, okay? Now, I've, I've did put the, you had to activate the um, system apps on this apps all right you'll see here and of course up here is where you activate your whole system filter hey oh shit hang on back out of there oh. last update name right so it's all right settings right so you come down where the hell is it Icon. All right, you can put these on if you want. All right, there's an icon pack there we can use as well. Working mode, root. Oh, yes, here we are. So, working mode. All right, so you want to click on that, and you'll see there. Okay, so we want um, root. to disable them so you can hide your apps or suspend them okay we're just going to disable them okay so we're on root so we're going to go root disable all right now we're going to go over to the apps that's going to give you more lists of apps here this is going to give you all the apps that you couldn't access before so you wouldn't have been able to access google play store all those different ones all right you'll see here look anything that has google anywhere you see google written just put a tick next to it, and it's going to deactivate it, right? So I just go through the whole list. And any, anything that says Android, keep them on there. They're for your phone, all right? So if you've made your phone, you know, phone providers have got to make sure the phone works. Um, so, of course, your phone's still going to be fine. And you see here, I mean, even that calendar, uh, that's, you know, has to go. But... So I'm going to show you, that, you know, there's other with uh, F-Droid, download a different calendar. Um, there's nothing to do with Google. Again, though, even in F-Droid, like Play Store, due diligence, you know, check the permissions. Um, most on the open source project, if they're um, being good about it, there's not going to be permissions into all your stuff, unless it's like, say, a file explorer. Well, it needs permissions to your SD card, your storage, etc., you know, um, but if you're doing, say, a calendar and it wants, um, you know, permissions to read your text messages and uh, make phone calls, things like that, just don't download it. All right, look for another one. All right, so anyway, we're going to go through here. So I'm not going to go too much into it. I'm showing you that we need to be, so you're already here. Just go through, you know, see carry services, Google. Tick that one. Chrome, you'll see there. Tick that one. Right. And then these here, all oh, Android, Android, Android. So that's from the phone, actual phone provider. All right. So we want all them. Um, so where are we? Keep going down. Boom. Oh, let's get through the list. I mean, there's quite a few you're going to go through. See, Facebook, we're doing that. Facebook. And actually, looking at that one, we could probably keep that doesn't look like that one's actually rigged up to Google. Um, so that's an old Facebook app installer actually and built in the phone by the looks of that. So that one there you probably could keep, but you know, it, it's but we're, we're deactivating the Google, so it may not work. Depends on Facebook services. Hmm. Yeah, it could be separate actually. So you may not have to worry about google being deactivated that may still work so you may not have to tick those ones you could try it just keep them unticked go back in it and once the air and google's deactivated if it has got anything to google um it's not going to load it's going to tell you it won't load because of google carry services or google play services not installed or not active um but if it does work well then without google you've got your your facebook stuff working all right same as messenger things like that 
So you just keep going through them, Gmail, everything like that. Of course, you know, you might not want to. You might have a Gmail account, but with Google deactivated, okay, we're going to show you a way to do it. So you might want to keep your Gmail. Um, or, you know, you might be needing those things. So you see here, here in Google, everything's been deactivated, right? Let's just go through the whole lot of them. Boom, boom, boom. Right, so we're out of here. So you've deactivated all Google. And my God, what a difference this phone has made. Okay. Um, I will show you another way where you can actually deactivate them completely. Um, actually, we could probably get into that one right now, shall we, while we're on the subject. Um, I'll go back to home there on that. Okay. We're going to exit. You'll see there everything I'm touching is instant with this phone now. You know, this used to be one that you'd be sitting, you know, Go make a cuppa and come back sort of thing. Um, so these are your file explorers. Um, where are we? Let's make sure going to them and show you. Right, so you've done hail. You've deactivated it all. Of course, you know, you, you, if that other browser, things like that, um, don't work. Now, G-Apps, that's one you can get through uh, F-Droid. Now, that's just so you can, you know, use Google Apps. It's a Google Apps browser, so you can still get the uh run your google apps uh there is another one oh should have i not put it on here yet i haven't either um it's called aurora okay a u r o r a and what that will do is um let you install play store apps using aurora so you're not having to use your details it's actually running through the aurora app um so that way you can still use it but you'd be you know click anonymous on the listing uh shame i haven't put that in yet could have shown you but that's right okay next thing proton mail of course if you want to change your mail account proton mail is a great one uh swiss i think it was uh was it italy swiss um, and they're really good on privacy they actually look after their uh their people make sure all their um stuff's kept private and it was things like that so proton mail brilliant thing uh even if you can get a proton browser that'd be a good one now some phones like the Zalcatel 4 won't accept a brave browser um tor or um a few other browsers but you know there's a good browser here and it's jquarks all right so this is off fdroid so it's got nothing to do with um you know the, the google play store um now i'm pretty sure this one here does run through a duck duck go but this phone won't install DuckDuckGo um, as an app, but it's using DuckDuckGo as the search base using this, and this one is something that installs. Okay, I'm not online at the moment, so we're not going to get a web page, but that's all. It's a fast, you know, it's, it's quite a fast web browser. Um, Folgaris is another one. Uh, you can do a bit more with this, um, but yeah, you know, I won't get into what what it does exactly or all the different things, but basically it's another good browser uh, that you can use that's not google all right because remember we've deactivated all google at the moment all right um actually should i show you something here so yeah google play if droid so it's a slightly different browser you can access different things i won't get into those things we're just doing uh how to de-google everything so i've shown you one way to de-google it these are some apps that you can put in um you know go for if droid try them all out these are just ones that i like to use of course, here's one for sending messages. So, but as I say, some phones, um, well, say 90% of them, I say, uh, just try your standard messages that comes off the phone and your phone thing, even though Google's all just deactivated. Um, because, well, being a phone, it should have come out with those things without Google being involved. So, you may not need to actually put, you know, this here. Not on actually, this is the, um, the scheduling one, sorry. So this one here, I can write a text to someone, put this in there and tell it what time to send the text. All right, so we're going to go out of here. All right. And line phone, so when you're online, whether it's on the internet or, if, you know, if you've got it on a Wi-Fi connection, line phone, you can make a phone call. Um, and yeah, so, you know, it's a lot more, what would you call it, um, yeah, privacy based. I mean, you're going to be talking over the internet. So you're not connected, I'm just not connected on the internet at the moment, or Wi-Fi. Um, but of course, use the phone as a 
No. No. Alright, two, seven. Oops. <laughs> you know, and whatever number, you know, that you're doing a bit of blah blah blah. You know, and make your phone call. Um, all works fine. Um, of course, it does require you to be on the internet. But, um, you know, these don't age, not that much problem with all good internet. Uh, if you've got unlimited internet, it's definitely not going to be a problem. Right, next thing you want, you're probably going, yeah, but look, if I'm on Google, I want to watch YouTube. I want to watch, um, you know, uh, you know, you trade all, all the different things. You don't need those apps, all right? Just remember that most things, I mean, not all things, but most big sites like Trade Me, um, Facebook, things like that, they have a web page, all right? You don't have to have an app, all right? It's just a misconception. Uh, you don't have to have the app. It's just convenience, all right? So you can just go online, go on the internet, and then actually type in Facebook, Log in through the internet. Don't use the app. Hey, okay, well, what's the app going to do? It's going to want to update. I mean, initially, if you followed my other videos in the past, we've shown you how to turn all those auto-update things off so it stops slowing your phone down. Um, but if you haven't got the app, you don't have to update it. You don't have to have all the slowdowns or whatever they put in it. And security will, you know, the internet's getting secured all the time. So access these uh, certain things through the, through the internet. Same as YouTube. You don't have to have a YouTube app. Go on the internet, all right? So we've de-googled this phone. Everything's been deactivated, but we can still access everything. But if you still want an app, this is actually one that I actually um, you know, like to use. That's called VidMate, all right? SnapTube's another one. Uh, VidMate's my favourite, um, you know, whether you want to use VidMate or not. So that this is... Oh, actually, this is the first time I've loaded this app on this phone. Um, but VidMate's one I've used for a very long time. Uh, it's great, you know, you type in your URL, whether it be whatever. If you're on a movie site, I won't say names of any sites, but let's say you're on a movie site, um, VidMate's going to load them up. Uh, you're on YouTube, etc. Yeah, the bonus with VidMate is the fact that you're going to get uh, an option on the bottom right of each one where you can download it. All right, so you're not just going to have to sit there uh, watching anything, you can actually download it. All right. No, oops. Well, storage space running out. And of course, was, I've jam-packed this phone with stuff to be able to show you. So it's, um, <laughs> there's definitely something that's going to be short of space until I get rid of everything. All right, you've noticed that as soon as your storage is getting full, you're going to have to delete something because if you... So if you've done all the other things for speed up that I've told you in the past, um, yeah, as I say, storage is key as well. You don't want all your storage full, otherwise it's going to struggle to do do what it needs to do. All right, yes, we want to allow that. Well, we're going to allow it. As I say, VidMate's a good one. Now, network's unavailable. This is called not online. Uh, I suppose I could put this online soon, show you, but no, we won't. I'm just showing you quickly what things to go for, so you don't have to muck around. You know, it takes me a long time, hours and hours and hours, over different times, trying to uh, find the right things that work without causing privacy problems and, uh, you know, still working, and, and work is a great thing. See, so if you go into my files, it'll be ring you downloaded, or if you click up here, that one there will show you anything that you've downloaded so far. All right. So we're going to go out of here anyway. Of course, it's going to fail. It's not connected. Oops, what did I do? I'll put two vidmates up here. Okay, so we've gone for a phone. Uh, there is another phone app that you can use just as for phone calls without being online. Um, it's just, you know, we're going over privacy things here. Why did I just get under there again? All right, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Oops. We'll get rid of that. 
Right, so I'm just going to show you the File Explorer. So this one, I mean, if you, your File Explorer is Google-based, I mean, most of your File Explorers um, are, but let's say you look on your phone, you might have two. Actually, just show you, for example, uh, where are we? Let's go down to F for File Explorer. Oh, God, why did I press that? Oh, apps. Right, so there, File Manager, standard one with your phone. Um, downloads is another folder that's going to be. Um, actually, let's just get rid of some of the stuff for a minute. God, that's going to go a wee bit haywire because we're actually. Um, might just quickly empty something out of here so we're not getting interrupted because my space is running out. All right, it's something you don't want to happen. Make sure you've got a big SD card in. I just put a little 4GB one in here just to put some things in, but. Uh, this day and age, you know, you don't want anything less than a um, 32 GB, really. You know, 16 GB if you have to, but, you know, my advice, 32 GB, 64 GB um, SD cards, what you really want. Um, you know, just so it happens, actually, Proton Mail, um, have a look on if Droid, make sure it doesn't need um, anything to do with Google on it. Um, I must have actually downloaded that one from the Google Play Store in the past, had it on the SD card. Um, so make sure you get a Proton Mail from FDroid, one that doesn't need Google carrier services. Uh, if you can't find one, um, just there'll be another type of mail on there. Um, right, now video players, I said, video mate, uh, it's great for YouTube, um, movie site, anything you want to watch, okay? Um, SnapTube is meant to be... A, um, it's actually got, I haven't used that one. Um, that could be Android off. Actually, let's just see. Let's click it. It's one I put in a long time ago, but I can't actually remember if this one was an Android or if, um, if this was a Play Store, if this was from FDroid or APK Mirror. All right, so one doesn't need Play Store. But it looks a bit sweet. So there's another good one. Um, but I do use Vidmate. Vidmate's my favorite. Okay. Um, there is one other video player you can use. Um, what the hell is it called now? Uh, New Pipe. So an F Droid type of New Pipe. That's N E W P I P E. And that's another one that does it. But I prefer VidMate. Okay. Um, right. Now, a hotspot app, that's just easier. So I don't have to go up here. I can just click that and go bang, straight into my settings where the hotspot is. Uh, of course, you don't have to have that because you can just access that from your settings anyway. It's a bit of a faster way of doing it. Right, so the next thing you want to do is like a fresh look of things. All right, so we're going to our settings. Oh, have I not put settings here? I don't. Let's go to all apps. Uh, ABCDFG. Okay, we're going to put this up here. Okay, now settings. Uh, certain phones will be different, um, but of course you want to be looking for your, and it'll be in display or in, if you actually got home, in home. Or it'll be under launches, but see the launcher there, that's the original one that comes with the phone. This is my pick of launches. Uh, these are the ones that I think are the best ones to go for. I'll quickly show you what they look like so you know for yourself if it's something you want to do as well. And then we're going to get back into how to de-Google something. Uh, more permanently um, so it, as I said I showed you just before how to do it the other way so Fairphone though you just seen that as a launcher so let's do this one so you can see the launcher of this one um, I mean I've tried you know about 20 something different launchers and out of them all so of course that one there is the Fairphone yeah this is the other one bang okay it's a different launcher there that I've Guys, so these are my top type of launches to be using. And uh, the good thing with this one, you're in here, you can slide up in that wee bottom arrow and bring up all your apps, just like on a, you know, your standard other launches. Um, the only thing is you got your Google search bar, but um, didn't seem to matter. It still goes into, because going into the internet, it didn't seem to have to worry. It didn't worry that I've deactivated everything. That Google search bar actually still works. All right. So what we'll do here, we'll go back into settings. 
I mean, we'll just quickly show you the uh, a few of them so you know what they will look like. Okay, you launch is a pretty clean launcher. Um, as you'll see here, what happens. It's a pretty basic sort of a launcher. All right. So you see everything's done and the apps it's done is written. So there's no looking at all these different squares. You can go and do a, a list. Uh, you go into your settings. Everything's still the same. Oh, God. Yeah. Device settings, choose time format, choose app alignment, customize quick button. So you can customize this. Um, so that, you know, there's a few options to actually customize it a bit more. Um, but all right, we're going to go into another one here, show you another browser. This one's a good browser, launch time. Yeah. Now this here, you can I've activated that so it's only on for a few seconds. Uh, when you first install it, that thing's going to be just sitting there all the time and you're going to be like, wow, what a lot of clutter. So if you're someone like me that can't handle looking at all this crap everywhere, because um, it's just like clutter galore, look at it all down here, it's just everywhere. But yeah, it's stuff you use. And you could declutter this just by moving this. To another page, not oh, actually. Does this one not have pages? Well, I'll be okay. So this launch it won't actually give you the option for that. The pages are within this. No, nope. actually, let's just see if it does a swipe up, a swipe across. No, okay. So that's how you access your different pages. So you go into your games. It's going to show you game apps. Go. It's not a game. It's a file explorer. All right, internet, what are our internet apps? Okay, so I mean, it's a good thing with this one, it actually separates your apps into the right things. So you need that these are all internet based. Opera Mini, take that out. That's, you know, as I say, it's a Play Store one. This is another Play Store one. And actually, can I delete that? Uninstall. Yes, I want to uninstall that. That one came from Play Store. Alrighty, so we'll click that back up again. Uh, right, so we'll go into graphics. And there's our video players. Huh, that's a shortcut. I wonder what was going on there. Right, and of course YouTube, I mean, you can try and see, if, if it's one that was built in, it's not going to let you do it, but I'm going to show you a different way. Um, well, I don't believe it, it's actually going to let us. Anyway, it could not be uninstalled. Go to settings. Now this will be one that's uninstallable, but I'm about to show you how to actually uninstall them. Okay. Oh, and this one's not going to let us in the back door either. Through memory, you can only get in. Um, we have permissions. Yeah, no. It's not going to let Oh, actually, let's see if we can get it. What's the three dots? No. Okay. So that's right. We're going to get back out of here because I'm going to show you the... Uh, as I was saying, another way to de-google everything. So, I've shown you a few launches. Uh, pick which one you like the best. Um, as I say, that, that's my pick for launches. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But, you know, you can go through, try them. I mean, I'll show you what the standard one was. So, this was the one that it came with the phone originally. Yeah, which is, you know, it's alright. Put a different back screen on it. Make it look a bit tidier. Um, there's still nothing wrong with it. But I do like the a fresh look. Just makes you feel like you've got another phone. You know? So I mean, my top out of all them launches, um, yeah. I mean, it would have to be the is it the Fairphone? Let's have a look. Or was it Rootless Pixel? All right. Yeah. No, so this one's the one that I mean, I quite like this one. Except the only problem is to get your apps. You've got to swipe from the side. You see that? And then you can select your phone or your apps. Um, you know, and the same from here, this side. Yeah. Okay, but that if you're not wanting that that hassle to be doing that, and you'll see here the background picture's gone. Um, I'll show you how to quickly re-put that wallpaper in there. But we're actually going to go to... Uh, where it was Pixel this time. Oh, 
No, oh, actually, but I haven't set up all the apps to show you on this one, have I? No, but I mean, this one's a good one because you got easy access to these here. And if they're not related to Google, we're going to be fine using the ones that came off the phone. Um, if they're related to Google in any way, you're going to have them gone and you're going to be back in the other one. Where are we? So I'll quickly go into this one. All right. So wallpapers we want to go into. So go into display. We want wallpapers. Oh. Christ. Right, wallpaper, live wallpapers, and we're going to put it on phase beam. Bam. Set wallpaper, and out. Bam. Okay, so we've got a nice fresh look to the phone. It's looking nice and clean. Right, so the next thing you're looking for, right, how do I get rid of Google completely? As I said, if you're wanting to keep the phone, you know, in the future you want to do a reset and actually have Google will activate it again. Uh, just do what I showed you before at the start of this video um, using the uh, where was it hail this app here okay now remember if your file explorer was Google oriented you would have dele you know, uh, deleted that or um, deactivated it um, so you're gonna need a different file explorer okay so this one here little file explorer this one's a good one so it brings up everything you need okay Everything you normally have in your normal um, file explorer. Okay, so let's go into say downloads, and you'll see here all these different. These are all my zip files for however different things I've been going through. Alrighty, so you don't need all them. This is just a demonstration. Alright, so we're going to go there. We're going to close that one, but now. For the real thing of actually getting rid of Google completely. So there's well, there's another three ways of doing it to get rid of it completely, and that is the way I'm about to show you. And then there's also another way where you actually use actually we be able to show you that all oh, apps. Uh, if you've got PC and you prefer to do it via PC, this one here. Um, my phone. Explorer, I think it was. Yeah, my phone explorer. So download that onto your PC and then that'll activate into your phone. Um so basically that's just holding your know, traces of everything I'm doing, but I'm the one in control of it. So when I go into my phone explorer, I can delete all those traces out and things that I've been doing, etc. etc. Okay. So the next file explorer, this is the one you want if you actually want to delete apps completely. Um, the same way I just that app I just showed you there on your PC, you can get into your apps, your hidden stuff. It's normally stuff you can't access. Or your Google stuff that you can't delete, you'll be able to delete it. Okay, so this one here, you see here, so right now we're on SD card. Um, so of course, you know, it's not going to be here. So we need to go up to the arrow here. Click back. Um, custom, NVIDIA, the SD card. I've got system. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, one of these system ones. Uh, where are we? Cust pack. Which, you know, custom pack. And we're going to go into apps. You'll see here removable, unremovable. Only two items in there. Oh, there. Right. Now we've got 26 apps that were unremovable and five private apps that were unremovable so let's see what the private ones were all right carrier services of course that's the google tracker tracks everything you're doing um fb install global which is uh we want to keep that phone sky oh that was another that's actually another phone actually what's it doing in there that's actually another phone um App thing you can use um, that's right okay so of course you wanted to delete the Google stuff um, actually that one there don't delete that one there that could be carrier services just for your phone we want them to be activated still so let's go back one and we're we'll going to apps right you see here emails so that'll be um, Probably your Gmail stuff there. All right. Uh, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da. Where is. It's not on there. 
que go there they that one is the real one yeah she wants to worry about any of us no don't want that one but this is where you'll find where your google stuff is um Music here, where is YouTube talkback? Oh, and of course that's that YouTube. Before I couldn't uninstall it. So here we can uninstall it completely if we want. Alright, so we can go delete file. Ah, fuck, I don't want... Oh, excuse my language. Alright, delete file. Deleting YouTube, ABK cannot be undone. Are you sure you want to delete it? Yes, I do. Of course, back at a couple of times. We go back to there, it's unremovable. So, and removable. Removable, that'll be just like your, um, your normal things can be removed, like games and certain apps. I mean, I've already removed everything I can apart from the unmovable anyway. Uh, so, we've got there. So, they're all game apps. No, you don't need it with them, uh, unless you're into playing those games. Um, this will just actually just get rid of them. They're just falling up the phone. Don't need them. Bang, delete file, yeah, delete it. Delete file, yeah, delete it. Oh, and actually if you find that you're in this and nothing's happening, uh, you've actually got to go into your app and make sure you've given it permissions. Alright, so we're just going to click back out of here. We'll just make sure that I have given it permission to do everything. Let's go into your apps. And that one was called File Explorer root i think by memory a b c d e f uh, oh, it's called root file explorer m n o p q r oh, it's called open manager different again right so you want to click into that and we want to make sure it's got permissions no, that's got permissions. All right then. Uh, initially, if you've just downloaded it, uh, you'll probably find that it... Content... Uh, yep. Allows that to write to the SD card. Yeah. Uh, read the contents of your lizard region. Okay. Uh, other app capabilities. No. All right, well, this thing's actually already got permission. So we don't have to worry about that one. All right, metadata, that's another good one. Uh, so it just extracts metadata out of your phone, uh, photos, things like that before you post them. Uh, if you're doing YouTube things or putting your photos on Facebook, etc. This is just a way of clearing things out. Um, and actually, I think that one by memory, you can even put your metadata in. So you can change it, put whatever metadata you want in it. Go way to hide a message. Uh, right. If the other person over in knows what it is. Right. So basically, we've covered that all now. So now you know how you can get rid of it all. I will do one other video. We're going to do that separate. I mean, this one's coming up 40 minutes now. I know it's been a bit long. Uh, but we sort of had to cover a little bit. And I've done it in as much detail as I can, so it's more understandable. Um, but I will do a quick one on the PC with that other app I showed you. Um, how to access these other apps. Uh, it can be a lot quicker because, you, you know, you, well, you're using a fast PC, aren't you? Uh, just remember when it first loads up, look up here, path SD card. Okay, so at the moment we're in SD. And then there, actually you might just go out a couple. No one for entry data custom with custom. Uh, oops, don't need that. If you find that you've come into something and it's saying it won't do it due to the permissions and you know that in the app you've given it permissions 
Uh, there is another setting in your phone itself when you go into apps and display all your apps. Um, you'll also have the uh, app permissions. All right. And of course, in here, I've got all app permissions basically turned off at the moment. So that's why that's happening. I've got to go back and, and turn it on just for that. Of course, you get to select each one individually. System there, firmware, boot info. Be careful when you're amongst the worst. You don't want any stuff around with your boot info and things like that if you don't know what you're doing, right? Oops, that wasn't what I wanted. I want to have a look at bars. No. Okay. Oh. Now it reckons this old phone's actually got. Four CPUs on it. Oh, I'll be buggered. I wouldn't have thought so. Oh, God. Right, I think we're finna wrap up this video anyway. Um, you know, leave a like, subscribe if it's, well, leave a like if it's helped, it will help others. Uh, just remember here, go into your, um, Trying to find where the hell it was now for you to show you. I showed you this before. Just free look at that video I showed you before where to get into it. Um, it's just down here. Boom. Hmm. OEM. No, no, it's not worth accessing all that. Custom. No. Oh, we're back on the SD card. What the hell's going on there? Alright, so system, that's for your main system. Uh, and remember, this is where you want to access your apps. Uh, it's normally in custom pack. Or it could be in apps just here. And of course, this is where you're going to get a lot of different ones here to be able to uh, extract as well. Uh, so Chrome, that we can't take out, we can now take it out through here. Um, actually, I might just do that while we're here. Delete the folder, yep. Chrome customizations, delete that to yeah. So there's certain ones you can yeah, uh, get rid of if you're needing to. There's also another way you can copy them. So if you come to, um, you know, something that you actually want. Uh, for instance, let's go into custom pack. We'll go into app. And we'll go into unremovable. Apps, uh, it's a calculator. Um, yeah, let's say if it's something you actually want in yourself in your collection. Oh, shit. Um, what I normally do, yeah, if it's something that's not rigged to Google and you're wanting to keep it, or even if it is Google and you're wanting to keep everything on a separate one, you can do a copy file and then go out into your SD card and then paste it into there. And then that way, you just take your SD card out, plug it into your computer. And then you got yourself a copy. All right. So hopefully that's helped anyway on the googling things. Um, but hail is your easy option. What we just showed you at the start of the video. So the first <laughs> what was it fifteen minutes? That'll be the um, that'll be the one that you'd want to go for. All right. Because um, it still turn, deactivates them all. Uh, this is just a way of actually deleting them completely. But. Um, I actually think your better option for deleting them completely. I mean, you know, you'll find them all once you're searching through everything. It's going to take you a while, though, um, especially if you actually know someone that doesn't even know anything about that stuff. It's going to take you a long time. But I've just shown you the ones to go into, main things. There is other ones there, but... Um, so I reckon the best option is actually to... 
plug into your PC if you want to delete them permanently and use my phone explorer uh, and then that way you can actually access them I'm going to show you that on another video so don't forget to leave a like if it's helped subscribe there's many other hints and tips down there um, and hello what's that doing there we deleted that okay so have a good one hopefully it's um speed your phone up i mean i know this one here is super fast um well actually there is one other thing you want to do uh as an app uh when you're in the f droid uh, get a thing called url checker and what that will do i shall see if i've got it in this phone already or not uh down the bottom yeah there. so url check what it's going to do is just check you know if you're going into a site um you know, you see advertisements on your email or something, can you click it into it? If you're using that, it's going to check it and make sure that it hasn't got any funky stuff in there. You know, like tracing, and viruses, etc. Whatever. So that's a great, great wee one to use, your old checker. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go through this phone and delete probably 50% of the stuff out of here and just keep the main ones. Um... But other things, that's about it really. Um, if you're actually, if you're after a maps, uh, did I put that in yet? Shit, no, I haven't. Right, I, um, maps, you want to use a thing called Osmond. Or Os, yeah, I think it was Os Osmand or Osmond. Um, it's not a bad map one to be using. Uh, had, I think the other one was uh, Organic Apps, I think. Um, but I used to use Osmond. Um, it was all good. Uh, another thing you want to use for your private, yeah, you know, is your VPN. Okay, so get Proton VPN, which I don't know. Nah, I haven't even put that in this phone yet either. Right, that's right. So I've got a few things to actually install. So have a good one. Hope it's all helped anyway.